What's up guys? How you doing? And welcome to another Maker Monday. Hope everything is going well with you guys. Um, today on Maker Monday, we're going to be looking at a couple things. We'll be looking at another very useful tool because some of you have said that uh, you like seeing that. Basically, me show you different little tools for electronics that work really well as well as we'll be talking about some videos that'll be coming out. So let's get started. Some videos that we got coming up is we've got uh, a video on how to create a Chromecast basically out of a Raspberry Pi Zero. That's going to be pretty cool. So I've actually enjoyed it. I've been using it actually and playing with it because um, I only have one Chromecast in my house and uh, one of my daughters likes using it. So it's nice that I have basically two now because most of the time I use my Chromecast just to watch uh, YouTube videos on, and there's a way you can do that very easily. So be on the lookout for that video coming up. I also wanna thank you guys very much for your uh, help in uh, when I send out the polls. So I send out those different uh, polls basically on what videos. I think I'll start doing that uh, more often. Let me know down in the comments if that's kind of a cool thing that you guys get to kind of pick which video is going to be next. I usually throw out, and those of you that don't know, um, I kind of throw out little video ideas, maybe three different options uh, so that you guys can pick maybe which video that you would be most interested in seeing. As I come up with ideas, I kind of log them down and make sure that I keep track of them and keep track of some cool stuff I think you guys would like. And then I usually post that out, or at least I've been doing that here lately, posting that out for you guys to give me some feedback on and let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see. And so far it's been pretty good. You guys have let me know on a couple of items, The uh, one of them being the uh, video for the, the Chromecast uh, of the Rose Raspberry Pi, as well as the other video that I got coming is going to be, well in fact I'm working on it over here, I'll show it to you, is going to be taking one of these Raspberry Pi uh, screens that you can uh, buy. That's uh, an actual official 7-inch Raspberry Pi compatible uh, deal. It works very slick. You hook it right up and it starts working. Uh, and that's going to be uh, a video that we're going to be doing that will be for the Home Assistant dashboard so that's coming however i had some problems with one of my 3d printers uh and because i'm going to print a bezel and it's going to be pretty good size for this so i can't print it on my other printer i got to print it on my big one but my big one had a little bit of an extruder malfunction so i've actually got it apart and i'm working on it right now so since that happened i'm waiting for some parts to come in i figured i'd give you the chromecast video uh first sorry there was there was like a piece of something floating by. Anyway, so, but this one is in the works as well. Hopefully I will have that for you next week. I'm still gonna try to stick to my schedule as much as possible. You know, with the holidays coming, it could be a little hectic. So forgive me for that. But next week is Thanksgiving, but I have a video already ready and I'll try to release it on Wednesdays. I've been shooting for that and that's actually been working pretty good for me is doing Wednesday videos. So I try to release uh, a video on Wednesday around noon or so, because it seems like that's when you guys are usually watching. Let me know in the comments if that's that's that time sounds like a good time or whatever, but it, looking at my analytics, it seems like uh, my viewership goes up during uh, basically afternoon and that's, that's central time when I'm looking at it on my in my time. On central time, it looks like it's about noon for me. So if that looks like it works for you guys, which seems to, uh, that's when I usually release them. So I'm going to try to stick to that schedule as well as maybe making the Maker Mondays. Now I can't always guarantee that I'll get a Maker Monday out because sometimes doing two videos a week for me and my normal schedule is a little rough. So any case we'll be doing that so there's some there's two video ideas that are that are awesome that you guys have selected and i think i'm going to do more of that i'll be sending you guys out some polls and stuff now that youtube has upgraded to where i can actually send out messages directly to you guys <clears throat> i'll probably be doing more of that so if you haven't already press subscribe but if you haven't if you uh haven't uh click the little bell icon that's next to the subscription you know deal if you haven't clicked that, definitely click that because otherwise you don't get notified when I send out those, those polls. You would have to just go to basically my channel and look at the uh, community tab in my channel to be able to see if I've released a, a question for you guys or, or, or given you, you know, some options to kind of vote on. So if you guys uh, want to do that, definitely hit ring the little bell icon because that's the only way YouTube will actually notify you that I've sent something out as well as it notifies you when I send out new videos. So you'll get a notification on Wednesdays uh, and possibly Mondays when I release videos. So definitely make sure you press that button. All right. 
So that's about it that I got for the next two weeks. That's what we'll be looking forward to is those videos. Over uh, the course of next week, I'll probably release maybe a, another poll because I got some more video ideas in store and I may release another poll for you guys. I've also gotten our friends at DF Robot. We're talking about uh, some interesting stuff. They told me that uh, whatever I would like to review next, um, go ahead and, and let them know and they'll see if they can't maybe send me a sample or something. So if you guys have ever been out to DF Robot and looked at some stuff and wondered if you like it or not or if it's if it's gonna work or how it works or whatever, let me know in the comments. Let me know because I, I might be able to ask them for it and maybe be able to get it and then I can run through it and show you and kind of give you a review of that product and see what uh, see if it's if it's good, bad, halfway in between, what it can be used for, things like that. We can make some cool stuff out of it. So definitely go check out DF Robot and let me know and I'll see if I can't maybe acquire uh, some of those components and then we can uh, kind of have a review of it, all right? So that's pretty much all I had so far as the channel goes. We've been doing pretty good. Um, subscribers have gone up uh, a little bit, so we're, we're doing good. We're about to 11 hundred uh, subscribers, which that's amazing. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It's actually been a lot of fun. I, I, again, when I first started this, I had no idea that I was going to get this many people. I mean, it's it's absolutely amazing to me. I mean, I know there's other people that are bigger, bigger channels. When I, I don't compare myself, I just think that the community we got here is fantastic. I enjoy talking to you guys. I'm going to try to do more live streams too because I think that was pretty fun when I was bumbling around here with the homeless and thing. And by the way, I did get it to work. Those of you that came on the live stream with me, I did get it to work and I did figure it out, the Haas IO thing. Uh, so I'll try to do more stuff like that. Maybe as I'm doing these bigger projects that take more time, maybe I'll do some live stream of me fumbling around and working on it and you can just kind of join me in the process of working on the projects and stuff like that. And that way it gives a little more interaction. I'm looking to more interact with you guys instead of you guys just kind of watching it. I kind of want to make it more interactive. So anyway, so let's move on to a tool, a great tool that everyone needs is a good multimeter, okay? A good multimeter that I saw, and actually I was, I saw this one was recommended by EEV blog, actually by uh, Dave Jones, and I went ahead and bought one because I needed a second one. I've got a real uh, nice fluke that I use that's my kind of like uh, high grade, you know, one for measuring uh, very uh, precisely. This little guy is actually pretty darn good. It's really close to the fluke um, so far as accuracy. This is the X Tech Instruments. Um, it's the EX. 330 model is what this is. It's very affordable. It's not, I mean, like that fluke one, that one was hundreds of dollars. This one, I think, is below 100. In fact, I think it might even be somewhere around $50 US is what this one is. It's got, you know, it's got one of those, I don't know if you can hear that, one of those beeper things that, yeah, the non-contact bolt detector or whatever it is. Honestly, I think that's a gimmick. But it does, it will do milliamps. It will do amps up to up to 10 amps, I believe. Up to 10 amps is what it'll do. Um, it'll also do uh, diodes. It'll do capacitors, continuity checker, uh, ohms. It'll do AC/DC, obviously. It'll do uh, frequency. It'll also do uh, temperature. It'll do Fahrenheit and Celsius. And if I remember right, it actually comes with. I don't have it here with me, but it actually comes with a uh, temperature probe. So it's, it's, it's actually a really good deal. Now, what I would suggest also, and this is gonna be kind of a two for one deal, is to get some of these. These are very sharp, pointy leads is what these are. And I get these from Pomona, and I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description so you guys can go check it out and see if maybe this would be something that you'd wanna add to your uh, electronics lab. But some really sharp tipped, I don't know if you can see that, but some really sharp tip uh, leads are a very, very good thing to have because you can probe in those little teeny tiny chips that have those really thin pins. You can really get in there and do this. Whereas when you have the bigger probes, I don't have a set with me right now, but you have those great big huge ends, sometimes you can cross pins and cause problems. Whereas you get these really small, really sharp ones, you can get right in there and probe uh, what you need to probe. But no, this thing is fantastic. It also has a battery saver on it. So if you leave it, if you leave it on, uh, it will uh, beep at you, let you know it's still on, and then it'll give you, I think, a final like long pulse beep or something like that, and then it will shut off on its own. So that's nice, because if you're like me and you forget and you leave your meters on, it doesn't just chew the batteries up, it'll actually shut itself off. So that's a nice feature that it has. Um, it has a nice big 
screen. I don't know if you can see that, but it has nice big numbers, um, very easy to read. It also has, if I remember right, I think it has a light in it somewhere uh, that'll light up the screen. I don't remember how to do it. But it has, so far as uh, insulation ability and stuff like that, it's got 600, it'll do up to 600 volt, uh, 400 milliamp uh, max fused on one port, 10 amp max on the other port. Um, category three, oh, it'll even do category two, which is 1,000 volts. So it could even take that without going kaplooey. So, <clears throat> any case, guys, definitely check out the XTech EX3. 30. It's a very good little meter. You can find it on Amazon, you can find it on eBay, you can find it pretty much everywhere. It's actually a pretty good little meter and it is actually quite accurate. I was actually very impressed with how accurate it was. So definitely check out and get a multimeter and it's nice to get two, honestly. That way you can have two, and that's why I have this one is in my other flute. It's nice to have two multimeters because then you can check maybe volts and amps on a circuit that you're doing. You can check volts and amps with it if you have two different meters. Whereas one meter, you got to plug it in, you know, volt wise, check that, and then switch around leads, change things around, put it in as amps, and then check that. So it's a lot nicer to have two of them. And at the price that these are, and you'll see, go check out the link. You could probably pick up two of these and be great, you know, or, or, or start off with one and then later on add to it. I also like that it has a little stand in the back of it. That's kind of cool. So that way it can, it can sit up for you, you know. So anyway, that's the tool that I'm saying right now is get yourself a good multimeter. Those super cheap ones, boy, they can, they can do weird things. So I would stick with something that's pretty good quality. Definitely check the reviews. Look at the reviews because there's people like me and Dave Jones and those of us that use meters a lot and you know we'll look at some and we know the ones that are crap and we will say so <laughs> in the uh, comments on, on, the, on the reviews. So definitely check this one out. I have used this one for quite a while now and it is a very good, very affordable uh, meter to get started with. So definitely check that out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring the bell so that way you get uh, uh, the notifications when I send out polls for videos, when I send out just updates or pictures or anything like that, definitely ring the bell so that way you don't miss out on the content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm actually able to upload Facebook or upload videos to Facebook now, and I'm starting to do that as well as uh, some other things on Facebook. So check out the Facebook uh, link to the channel page. It's there as well as check me out on Instructables, and you, you can even find me on Quora, which is that question and answer thing. I uh, answer a lot of questions on there too. So, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave comments because I love reading your guys' comments. I don't mind at all. Um, it's just, it may take a little bit for me to get to it because there is a lot of you. There's 1,100 of you almost now. So it may take me a little while, but I will answer your questions. I try to make sure I get everybody's question answered or at least give you some sort of a reply. So definitely check that out. All right, guys, thank you so much again, and we will see you next time.